Well, good morning. Um, I want to ask you guys something. Um, have you ever been out in public somewhere, you know, not at a game, not at an event, but just in the mall or a restaurant, and you've seen someone and you've thought, man, I bet that person is a ball player. I bet that person is an athlete, or I bet that person is a musician. Or, have you ever noticed that before? I can still remember walking through the mall one time and seeing a young man with his dad. He's probably 15, 16, 17 years old. Good looking kid, 6'2", 6'3", and he had on this flat bill hat with his glasses upside down sitting on it, and you could just tell, man, that kid's a baseball player. And I don't know if he's any good or not, but he looked really good. Well, I want to ask you, how do you know that someone's a Christian? How do you know just by looking at them that, man, they've got it. They get it. Well, there's two places in the Bible where we kind of get a description of that. And the first one is in John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 16. And it says, this is how we have come to know love. He laid down his life for us. And we should also lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has this world's goods and sees his brother in need, but shuts off his compassion from him, how can God's love reside in him? And that's, that's kind of a big picture. Like, man, I can't, you know, go through the crucifixion for everyone else. And, and that's right. But that's a pretty good picture of what love looks like and, and what we're supposed to look like. But the one that I want to focus on is uh, John chapter 13, verse 35. And it says, By this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So I want you to think about your teammates for a second. Any sport, maybe baseball particularly since we're in that season, but how do you treat your teammates? How do you treat one another? And in particular, how do you treat your teammates when, man, it's pretty hard to love them? How do you treat your teammates when they're the last strike out of the game with two runners on and a chance to win the game? How do you treat your teammates when they miss the two free throws at the end of the game that could have won it? Because that's when they need us the most. And aside from that, how do you treat them all the time? How are you treating them throughout the game? How are you treating them at practice? How are you treating them every single day when you're not involved in sports? So I want to encourage you to be the best teammate that you can be, not just for your team, but because you claim to be a Christian, because you claim to know Jesus, because you claim to have that faith. So we need to have that love for our teammates each and every day and each and every moment, especially during competition, because not everyone's going to look at our bracelets. Not everyone's going to read our t-shirt. But they're going to see the, the way that we love one another or the way that we don't. So I hope that encourages you today. Good luck as you play and go get them.